everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to start a new project in STM32 Cube ID uh, development software uh, and uh, how to optimize your code and I'm going to write this project for STM32 F0 30 F4 P6 uh, since it, I as as far as I know, this is the cheapest uh, microcontroller, uh, cheapest SCM32 microcontroller. It only has uh, 20 pins uh, and 16 kilobytes of flash uh, memory and 4 kilobytes of RAM. Uh, very small size, uh, but very, very robust and powerful. So, uh, because of this size, the small size of flash memory, in order to fit your uh, program into this, you might face some challenges. So I'm going to talk about those challenges here. So let's start our project uh, on uh, 32Q IDE. Let's find our microcontroller. Here and we define uh, our project name here, and we leave everything else as they are. Click on finish. So we wait until it uh, loads up. You also can uh, download the software uh, free from their SMST dot com website so we wait until so here <coughs> we have the microcontroller so what we're going to do is uh, first of all very important thing you if you have worked with uh, the cube ID or any STM32 my controller you might know that first of all you have to define uh, serial wires if you don't and program your uh, my controller you will lose access to your my controller so it's very important to define the serial wire debug serial wire so this, these two pins will uh, belong to your debugger it might be uh, and I, it's I, it's um, recommended to use uh, a C link it's very powerful so we have these two pins here and also let's define uh, um, UART uh, let's define UART asynchronous and also we, we gonna uh, activate the interrupt on uh, our UART and let's leave the, the rest for now since we are not going to write any program we just uh, going to have the configurations uh, on this program so our program will have the smallest size okay now we have UART we have our uh, debugger and uh, okay uh, let's uh, by clicking on this uh, icon we will uh, generate our code we'll wait until it loads okay uh, this is the program this is the code that is generated by SCM32 cube ID okay the next thing we need to do alright let's check uh, let's build it and check the size of our uh, code uh, here we can so as as you can see here uh, 
as you can see here, this is some block of uh, 20 cube ID. I don't know why it does that. Uh, okay, look, we just had our configuration files. Okay, and it has 56 kilobytes of our flash memory and 41% of uh, sorry, 56% of our flash memory and 41% of our uh, RAM. This is not good because we're going to write program and add stuff to our program. This will not help us. This uh, We won't have much space to write our program. So, uh, the remedy for this is to go to our uh, IOC file and we can do some stuff here to make our uh, program smaller as configuration files so as you can see here we have RCC GPIO UART uh, so all of them here by default use HAL libraries so uh, HAL library is very mm, size uh, flash memory demanding and it's not a it's not a good idea to have HAL library in uh, your, on your program because it takes a lot of space so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, change the HAL library to low layer libraries this won't uh, I mean of course some functions will change some uh, syntax will change but it this is not as difficult as you might think and it will save a lot of space for you let's check it out and see what's the difference between this this type of configuration and the the default one so let's again let's go to the debug as you can see we saved uh, almost 28 percent of our program you can see it was 50 around uh, more than 50 percent now it's 23 percent and believe me this will save this will help you a lot so um, this is very important uh, if you're going to write program on uh, cheaper microcontrollers you're gonna have to as you can see you're gonna have to use uh, low layer libraries so uh, this is the difference between a uh, size difference uh, so as you can see there are no HAL libraries uh, here so for, let's give you some examples of uh, low layer um, syntax for example if you want to uh, toggle a, a GPI open you write, so to toggle a GPI open uh, we just write uh, LLJ dot GPIO pin uh, GPIO underscore toggle pin and as you can see it's just it's very similar to HAL library for toggling the GPIO also <coughs> for delay we can write LL underscore uh, M delay and uh, you write uh, the amount of delay in milliseconds and it it's all it's also it's very similar to hell library so as you can see it's not very different and very uh, scary uh, but at the same time it can save you a lot of flash memory size and as you can see here the percentage is very low and you can write a lot of program on this uh, microcontroller <coughs> This microcontroller, uh, the cheapest, uh, as far as I know, uh, CM32 uh, microcontroller out there, and it's very fast, very powerful. 
you can do a lot of things with it uh, with just uh, some uh, configuration you can do a lot with it thank you and goodbye